Hi, this is Eric and this is Ashley. We're the founders of LunaCycle and one of the most exciting products that we've offered lately is the V2 controller right here that's designed in-house by our awesome team of engineers and it's our own controller and uh, it has some really snazzy features including this crazy display that you can get going which we'll show you some tricks on how to use today. But first you need to either install the app for the first time or update the app you have to get the latest firmware we have, which have a lot of great updates, including an accurate battery meter. So to do that, you do the exact same process, which we're gonna to teach today. This is for Android phone, phone users. Unfortunately, for Apple phone users, you're gonna to have to borrow somebody's Android to do this process, because right now there's no way to update the app uh, using your Apple, but once you have your firmware updated, you're able to use the Apple app for everything else. Okay, so now here we go. Um, uh, Ashley is gonna go to the website. Now, uh, this is important. For now on, everything you need to know, you, whether you're an Android user or Apple user, is gonna be on the same LunaCycle page, which is lunacycle.com slash update. A link to that is in the product, is, is in the link below us, all right? And that's going to always have the most current things you need to get your V2 app to the most current state. Okay, so it's going to have all the links and the downloads and everything you need there. So Ashley's going to get started from there. Here she is with the file that she got from that page. She's going to go ahead and open it. And it's going to say, file might be harmful. You got this as proof. It's not going to hurt you. Okay, go ahead and download anyway. The LunaCycle website, safer than safe. Then, for your, 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 for your security, it says that your phone isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. You can change in settings. You want to change that. Go to settings and it makes sure that this, my files, is in blue. All right. Now, now you go to my files. You, can, you gotta find my files in your phone and you'll find this file that you just uploaded, which is the, the Vest Tool app. This is so you don't have to pay $3 for it in the Vest app store. Press install and plus ours has a, um, some features that the Vest app doesn't. And then press open. Okay, and then here you are inside the tool uh, welcome to the Vest app, and uh, and you just press next, and you have to agree to the terms of the Vest app the first time you install it. Press yes. If this is a um, if this is a um, just an update for you, you won't need to press all this. Press yes. I understand. You read it. It's just some mumble jumbo, and then you press finish. And now we're finally ready to connect. Now this is very important. We're doing this with the um, with the uh, with the uh, with the phone on the handlebars. We really recommend that you do this within two or three feet of the um, controller, so you're you're sure you have the best connection possible and you don't lose the connection for any reason. So we're going to do it here, but don't do like we do. Do like I said. And press connect and then preferred Bluetooth device yes connecting now this is important right thing up here that says firmware and then you press see all this is right Luna M600 best default bin we're gonna try to rename this but basically what it defaults to is what's right and now you press upload Warning, you were about to upload new firmware to the to the to the VASC, and that's right. You press OK. And it's gonna go ahead and this is gonna take a minute. And again, you um wanna keep the phone within a few feet of your controller through this process as it updates. And this is gonna make your phone into the coolest display ever, and we'll show you some tricks at the very end of this on how to really optimize this display. Lately, we did some updates to the to this app where the battery meter is extremely accurate. 
and it's um, and we've worked out a few of the bugs and made this thing really slick. You're gonna love it. Okay, we'll come back to you when this is finished. Okay, we're now on 90%. And you, just to make sure the bike doesn't shut off during this, which would be terrible, you can go up and down on the uh, plus or mi minus buttons here, just to keep the bike from automatically shutting off. Now, um, the, firm, the firmware is updated. Please wait at least 10 seconds before unplugging power to avoid uh, a power correction. Press OK. Now we're going to go ahead and connect. And now you have uploaded successfully your new firmware. You're ready to go. And now we need to do this very important part where we go into bike config. And this is important. We go in, you scroll down till you get to offset correction. You press this. This is going to turn the motor slowly. So we're gonna lift the rear wheel and press okay. So, so I'm gonna lift the rear wheel, press okay. And you'll see the motor, the wheel turn really slowly as it's reading the settings inside the motor. Okay, and this is very important because it's gonna customize the settings inside your motor. Okay, just. Okay, and it read it. And now all we do is write settings. Okay, that's all you need to do is run this offset correction takes just 30 seconds or so until the wheel stops turning, then write settings. Okay, and write okay. And just like that, we're done. Now we have this really cool, well, well let's test it first. Let's go into ride. And let's go ahead and lift the rear wheel and see what we got. And as you can see, we got a speedometer and a power gauge and a, and a temperature of the motor. Everything's working. And um, also you can go into tune and you can, you, can, you can adjust all these settings, right? We can do uh, trail, you got all these, set, you can do, adjust your settings for trail, street legal, you can see ludicrous, everything's set for 100%, but you can fine tune your bike to match your riding style. The other cool okay, thing we're is- We're gonna show you this nifty trick, um, one of Ashley's favorites. If you wanna change the rotation of the display, you go into settings here and you press settings, allow screen rotation. Okay. And then you just turn it and bang, you have a racing car, Tesla plaid looking display. Not like the old ludicrous Teslas with a horizontal screen. You now got the cool vertical screen or vice versa, but you get to choose. That's the cool point. So there you guys go. Um, hope you guys love it. We're really excited about what this gives you. This gives you like the ultimate display that nobody on your e-bike block is e-bike e-bike club is going to have. So thanks for tuning in, and we're going to have a number of videos on how to use this later on.